In this work, we present a contrastive learning approach to enhance scene transferability for sensorimotor policy learning. Using our proposed contrastive visual encoder, we demonstrate a sensorimotor policy capable of directly mapping onboard images and EMU into quadcopter control commands without explicit state estimation to navigate through a sequence of predefined racing gates in minimum time. Using a rollout trajectory, we first select an anchor image perceived at a certain position, then we randomly sample the close and far progress with respect to the anchor pose, and then render the images. In the next step, we enhance the batch by adding images rendered at close progress points in various background environments. Our adaptive contrastive learning approach pushes the embeddings of similar progress in different environments to become closer, while pushing apart embeddings of distant progress simultaneously. This helps the encoder to learn task-related and consistent representation within an environment. And our training pipeline also enhances the invariance of the embeddings from different environments to bridge the scene transfer gap. After the vision encoder training, we employ a two-stage training procedure for policy learning. First we use model-free reinforcement learning to training a state-based teacher policy and then distill the policy using a student network that encodes a sequence of measurements to output the control command. The student is trained using imitation learning. We first perform a closed-loop experiment in both seen and unseen environments for the action network. We demonstrate that although the performance in the seen environments is similar when compared with the baselines. But if we deploy the policy in a new environment, our method outperforms all the baselines by a large margin. Also, we tested the policy in two out-of-distribution cases, thanks to the consistent visual embeddings, our approach can successfully fly even with random image augmentations and scene changes. We also evaluate our method in a real-world setting. We deploy our teacher policy in the real world to generate the rollout data. Then we evaluate our student policy and comparing against other baselines. We also present results where the vision encoder trained in a setting only using time series information instead of pose information for the contrastive training. In this setting our method still outperforms all the baselines, which indicates that our method generalizes beyond drone racing to general, sequential robotics tasks.